so who is it going everyone welcome to some more Rosen uh, you know masochist mode I don't remember the name of the mode and if I mean you, you really can't expect me to remember it but yeah uh, I'm gonna basically for those who don't know well this is the password but uh, I'm gonna be trying this boss <coughs> that I've been stuck with yesterday for either half an hour or an hour. If I can defeat him, I'm just gonna go full vision. Um, yeah, as Yami says right here, the true stream we all be waiting for. I know, right? How is it going, Yami? I know, everyone. You know, a lot of people. I, I was saying uh, what I was about to do. If I fail against this boss, what I'm gonna do is that poll where it's basically a web page where you get to choose your favorite Toho characters and the page calculates your decisions and makes a chart uh, that has every character in a ranking, right? So you get obviously your more favorite characters to your least favorite characters. Uh, that's something that a lot of Toho fans, for some reason, like to to show, right? Like, for example, they have their channel descriptions if they stream on Twitch, and they have that. It's like, hey, here's my chart, and you can see what character they like, what characters they don't like, what characters they hate, right? So I figure that if this fails, that's the perfect thing to go for. Because I don't really want to start the sequel to this game in the same stream that I fucking fail. So might as well use that time to go full edition and, and do that poll. Anyways, but that's only in the case that I fail. If I succeed at this, then sorry, but I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going until eventually I hit another wall. Uh, and I don't mean a literal wall. Okay, so we have uh, what was this asshole's name? Uh, damn. I mean, can we just call him Dracula wannabe? I don't remember his fucking name. Something about. No, I don't remember. It. I mean, I'm gonna read it right now. It's gonna be in the title of the stage. Zeppelin. That's the name of the asshole. Also, damn, all of my tanks are gone, so the game doesn't save your tanks on the password. That fucking sucks. Why? Why wouldn't it save your tanks? I mean, well, I understand tanks are cheap and everything, but still. Naichimon Brew, I'm pretty sure the game saves the life counter, but it doesn't save the tank counter for some reason. Well, that's fine. I mean, I don't really mind. After all, I'm gonna die so much to this boss that I'm probably gonna get the 9 tanks before I can even beat the, the boss. So I don't really mind. In any case. I really wonder, because obviously whenever I have a really hard challenge like this that I couldn't beat in the previous stream and I am supposed to beat now, like for example when I used to play Wings of B, I always think to myself, what possible strategies could I do, right? What could I implement to make, you know, the fight better? So I play these scenarios in my mind of what I can do and try to practice my muscle memory somehow and hopefully it works. Hey Kyle, how is it going? You actually are probably gonna be here right in time for when I actually go full edition and I start doing that Toho ball. But it, it will only be that way if I can defeat this boss. So I guess here you have a pretty a pretty big dilemma, right? Because if you cheer me on to to defeat this boss, you won't get the pole. At the same time, if you cheer uh, against me, I'm gonna be salty, but you're gonna get the pole. Actually, that probably is not a big dilemma. You're probably gonna go for the later option, right? 
I'm pretty sure that's the option that Yami will take for sure. <laughs> oh, I already started like shit. <laughs> Damn, the timing, the timing. You have to let the green thing shoot you first and then you jump. You don't jump immediately. You jump immediately, you're just gonna get hit by, by that. It's a pretty strict timing thing too. Like, it's not just the fact that the boss is hard by itself, but it's also probably one of the only bosses in this game that has such a strict timing. Even with the previous one, with the previous protagonist, this was pretty hard. Was out to write that I have no limit. I know, I can read your mind. You are so damn basic. So basic. I can read you like a motherfucking book. Also, there is a strategy that I wanna try that is probably not gonna work, by the way. But what if I stay here and the only thing I do is attack? Funnily enough, that might work. Like, you understand what I'm trying to go for there? If I just stay at the edge of that platform, just spam the charge hit, and then when I'm about to die, I heal with a, with a tank, that might work. The problem is that I will probably need something like uh, three tanks? Maybe three tanks. But, at the same time, that will mean that I wouldn't have to unnecessarily risk myself. In fact, it will be a pretty static... A pretty static um, strategy. Like, the only th way you could mess that strategy up is if you turn right as you were about to get shot, so that means that you're gonna get hit and you're gonna retaliate uh, backwards and you're probably gonna fall. That's the only scenario that I can think that that strategy is not completely free, because otherwise it seems completely free, at least to me. I'm pretty sure you also don't have to miss any shot, because if you miss a shot Basically, the amount of damage that you're gonna get is probably not only gonna spend a lot more tanks than you should, but you also might also... Yeah, I say also twice. But <laughs> you might run out of tanks. Hey, Brabby, thanks for the host. How is it going, buddy? You know, I'm right here using Sword Girl. And Sword Girl is really bad at doing things, but you know, she looks cool, that's all that matters. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn, I did a dash unnecessary. Someone's finally streaming now? What do you mean, finally streaming? I started the stream at the same hour that I usually start. Unless you mean someone else? No one else was? Interesting. Well, I guess Gabby to the rescue, huh? Okay, that strategy might be real good, too. We will see. It all depends on the crosses. Depending on how the crosses represent themselves here, it might be bad or it might be good. I don't know. I knew that that would happen. I delayed my champ too much, so the green shot uh, shot when I was uh, wall bouncing, damn it. I was streaming so Emerald Kaiso, the league breaks me now. I don't know what Emerald Kaiso is, but good shit. 
How many stages you must beat in a row? Uh, four. You gotta beat four in a row. But it's not that bad. I mean, the hardest thing after this fight is the Grim Reaper fight. And the Grim Reaper fight, differently from this one, I can just spam tank, right? So it's not guys of Pokemon Emerald? Oh, alright. Hey Nitori, how is it going? Uh, Beeble, Robot, Tumor, and the Wheelie Girl. No, uh, you... No, 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 no. Uh, here's the thing. You are confusing... There are two Wily Castles. Um, this is the first one. The first one you have the Bible. You have the Betro glasses from the church. You have the Grim Reaper and you have uh, Dracula. Those are the four bosses of the first castle. The second one has the spider, has uh, the yellow devil, has the boss rush plus the wily machine, and then it finally has wily, or it is. I mean, call it whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, the, it, it, this is just the first one. But, you know, as I say, this is the hardest boss on this specific castle for this character. Because you can tank through it. You can tank... Or maybe you can, as I was saying earlier, maybe you can do that strategy of standing on the bottom... Uh, on the bottom block right at the edge and do the charge attack and obviously you will need tanks to heal yourself because otherwise it will be impossible to, to defeat him but the problem with that strategy is that I will have to be really sure that that's gonna be the right attempt because if that's a, a bad attempt I can basically waste energy tanks just like that and that will suck, I don't want to waste energy tanks just like that. But yeah, it, 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 it's weird. It, it's a weird fight on a, an, an already weird mode. So, you know, you gotta do whatever the game allows you to. And the normal strategy, which is the one that I used on my previous attempt, which is jumping from here, it's pretty hard, like... It's mostly hard because it's not just timing. I mean, it is about timing, but what I mean is that you also gotta check your surroundings. If there are a lot of crosses, for example, spawn right there, you really cannot do much. Like, you gotta wait. So, it really depends on a lot of things. Cool, I didn't mean to do that, I'm sure. I got it! I actually got it! <laughs> With the right strategy! Holy shit! Oof. Wow, that's... Damn. That was a lot harder than it looked like. I know that it looked like, oh, you just did it, it was pretty, pretty easy. No, that was fucking hard, dude. And I was about to die, too. Holy shit. Okay. Calm down, calm down. The good thing about this, and the reason why that is so good, is because that's the only boss battle where you have to fight against gravity. All of the other boss battles are completely possible to tank. Like, you can just use the health tanks, and that's it. That one, gravity is always there. So, yeah. Oof. I have no idea how happy I am that I got that. Because giving up on a boss like that 
I wouldn't have felt good about that. Like, for example, right now, giving up in the boss rush, I don't think I will feel bad about that. But giving up on that one definitely will have made me feel like shit. <laughs> it's not BDH, I know, right? Pokemon Showdown? I don't know, I never play Pokemon Showdown. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. So we should do this. Should I ignore that asshole? Yeah, I can. Damn, I can also ignore that asshole too. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wait, was this that fast before? Oh, I fucked it up. I actually fucked it up. Or not. Why can I jump over this? Alright. I'm definitely not complaining. This game sometimes is it's pretty weird, dude. <laughs> like some things in this game are weird. And speaking of weird things, this has to be one of the weirdest boss I've seen in a lot of video games, right? No, but I, I think that's intentional. Because if you get there with this character, you're fucked. So I guess they made it intentional that you can go over it. So here's the thing. This boss is... It's not hard, but... Oh, you can... Okay, it might be hard. You can break it with one hit. That's already pretty bad. The, the biggest problem of this boss fight is that um, the boss already made a humongous amount of damage on the previous protagonist. On this protagonist is gonna make even more damage, so you gotta be incredibly careful about this. But it's mostly, as I said before, this boss is about memorization. If you memorize the only thing that you could get hit are the last patterns. See, they are, I fucked up there. I think the one should be here. Okay. It's gonna be there. But the problem is this one right here. If I stay on the, on the left, it's gonna hit me. But if I stay on the middle, it doesn't really work that well either. Um, in any case, let's see. Middle, then jump to the left. Yeah, I don't think jump. I think it's gonna be dash. I think it's gonna be middle and then dash. I don't think a jump is gonna precisely work. I think I already tried jumping before and it didn't work. The worst part is that you gotta do a charge one and then a normal one. I think that's what fucks you up the worst. Yeah, it works like that. Fuck, it hit me. No. And there is one more. But that's fine. <laughs> a couple of sword slashes are gonna get rid of him. Nice. Yeah, it's a pretty weird boss. It really has to be one of the weirdest boss I've seen. I mean, having glass attack you is pretty cool, and in fact, it's been in Castlevania too. Like, I'm not saying too, I mean that it's also been in Castlevania. Uh, yeah. yeah, a bit of ultra violence. No, a bit of violence, speed, and momentum. The two times. Yeah. 
Now, this is also another boss that I feel that is gonna be incredibly hard to beat and will necessarily need a um, tank. Will definitely need a uh, health tank. The Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper is a boss that. I mean, the Grim Reaper himself is not that bad. The real problem is the the first phase where you fight against his fucking sight. That's the real problem. I'm playing that weird card game and battling a nun with a shitlock. Fuck. Also, you say that that game had degenerate pictures. I didn't see any degenerate picture other than the one I mentioned on Discord. That one didn't seem even that bad either. Are you are you sure you aren't getting softer, Kyle? A heavy machine gun too, damn. Hey Mage, how is it going? Yeah, I, f I actually uh, have been able to beat the, the Bible boss somehow. Somehow I did it. Oh, yeah, that shouldn't. I fucked it up. I shouldn't have jumped there. I wonder... No, they, they actually thought of that too. Well, that's fine. I mean, I didn't have many lives anyways. AC Borsha, how is it going? It was multiple borderline naked girls. <laughs> Maybe, do you mean on the main page or do you mean on the screenshot section where people post their own screenshots? Because I didn't see the last one. If it's that one, then yes, it might be pretty degenerate. They were screenshots. Oh, I see. I didn't see it. I saw this, the, the main page for the game and I didn't see anything weird, right? So, I have to look at the screenshots. Damn. The screenshots go full editions. Nice. You know, I saw that when I was looking for games on on the winter sale. Fuck. On games on the winter sale, and that's one that interested me. But card games, it's like, I mean, I might be a degenerate. I will give you that, but. I don't know if I want to play card games, dude. <laughs> I mean, card games require you to think a little bit. That's already more than I can handle. So I don't know if it will be a, a good idea. Oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll definitely look at them. Though. Don't worry about that. Not now, though. Slay the Spire? Yeah, I don't think it was called Slay the Spire. Uh, it was called something else that I don't remember. But, you know. Steam has been a pretty nice platform for us additions. I know! Hey, Riman, how is it going? We haven't gone at Koyatsu? What's Koyatsu? Is that the game with the maids? Is it that one? <laughs> Wait, what? How did that disintegrate it so fast? Oh, I see. But when... Do we get uncensored Japanese games on Steam? You don't need to. I mean, Mirror... That game is censored. But if you go into the Steam forums, there is a kind soul that actually gives you an uncensored patch that I obviously use, by the way. I mean, if I'm gonna be a degenerate, I'm gonna go full edition. I'm not just gonna be a half-ass edition. Right? So... No, you don't even need to go to Blue Steam. You can just buy the game on Steam and put the patch yourself. Trust me, it works. Did 
that's pretty hard because you need to double uh, like you need to double tap right there and if the platform is falling you can do it yeah when we say blue steam we mean uh, torrenting <laughs> uh, it, it, normally it will be green steam but some people have it blue for some reason but you know you don't need to do that you can actually support the game on steam and also patch it and it will be fine you won't get banned from steam some games are censored yeah exactly like you can choose uncensor them and even if they weren't that simple to uncensor someone is gonna go to the trouble of uncensoring them so you don't have to worry about it. I mean, if you think you are the biggest degenerate there, there is, they're definitely... Like, you are not. There is someone even more degenerate than you that went to the trouble of uncensoring a game. So don't worry. If you think you are the biggest one, no. Think again. Oh, that's the normal counter. Okay. I don't know why that one fucks up so quickly. Steam say they will allow H content. No, they do allow it. It's just that developers are scared, but they do allow it. Uh... What? <laughs> if anything, Mu Torrent is the best Torrent client you can get. <laughs> um... Yeah, when it's set on school, well, yeah, I think it is. Oh wait, this is supposed to be uh, an actual important match because I think this guy is the is the grandfather of this girl. Or your master, okay. Oh no, it's actually the granddaughter. See, I was paying attention to the story. Yeah, sadly you are gonna die. A lot of times, by the way. I don't know how to beat this side. This side right here is really fucked up. It, it, it's so hard, because it's so fast. I mean, you obviously need to memorize, right? This is a memorizing battle. If you memorize the pattern, you should be fine. But it's so fast and so confusing to see. Because it's not a perfect circle. It, it, it's pretty hard. <laughs> that, that's the... The... the um, you know... It's pretty... Fucked up. In any ways... Um, let's see... What can we do? Indeed, the truth lies in the in the heart of the battle or some shit. Okay, so I got that. Okay, now that's gonna be a problem. 
uh, here's the thing. You can attack that guy when he uh, is uh, after that attack with the sword. Now the problem is that when you attack, he counters attack with a slash. And the problem with the character that I'm using right now is that she, once she uses this attack, she cannot really move immediately. Like, you gotta wait a little bit, see? I'm sp Right there, I was spamming dash, and see how late she moved. Right? So, obviously, you can't do that if you don't wanna get hit. So, yeah. In any case, um... Maybe I should... I should hit him while he is about to shoot the big sword. I don't know exactly what the best strategy should be. Oh, and I'm trapped. Oh, you can attack him right there. Oh, I fucked up the die. But, it's definitely an advance. Yeah, so basically attack him while the sword is going down and he won't counter attack. Okay, so this fight might not be that bad. Alright, I, I like where this is going. It's still hard to get away of that attack, but it should be fine. It should be fine. Okay, 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 okay. The good thing is that the more I struggle with this fight, the more uh, tanks I get. Hey, Koryas, who is it going? Japanese vibe in this game. Yeah, it has a Japanese vibe because it's based on Mega Man 4 and also obviously uses uh, You know Japanese animation stylized characters. So yeah, it definitely has a, a Japanese vibe well, and obviously not to mention that it's made by Japanese so Yeah it definitely does have it. Oof. Nice. Alright, good shit. So, maybe I should use a tank. How many tanks do I have? I have eight. I might as well use one. I can just use a tank, right? I'm pretty sure I can use a tank here. Obviously not now, because this attempt is already bad considering that I'm not full health. But in another attempt... Training was inadequate, or whatever you pronounce that. Okay, it's time to test your strength. Don't worry. Damn, I did everything that I shouldn't have done. I did everything right there. But that's fine. Um, shouldn't be that hard to do this part anyways. Oh, my God. 
gotcha. Okay, so I'm gonna use an energy tank right here. I don't give a shit. Oh, uh, wow, that was a waste. That was a complete waste. I got sucked in by that. Well, what a problem. That's fine. I mean, the, the real thing here is that it doesn't really matter that much. Because you get a tank at the beginning of this stage always, so it doesn't really matter. Damn, I didn't hit you there? Really? <laughs> I cannot hide my disappointment. Same! Don't worry about it, I'm gonna get your ass. And when that happens... You won't be able to hide it either. But see, that using that tank was not be, like that big of a deal. As you can see, I have eight tanks. Um, so you know. And for some reason, the tank limit in this game is nine, which is really weird. Because, look at this, you have a zero right there that suggests that you can get two digits of tanks. However, once you get nine tanks, every tank you get doesn't count. So it's pretty weird. I think it's also the same thing with lives. I don't think you can get double digit lives. So it's weird. It's like, why? Why, why will you do that, right? You know, who cares? What's important is that 9 is more than enough. Well, maybe <laughs> not more than enough for the boss rush. Yes, you might be right on that one. But, you know. I will worry about the boss rush when I'm there. And I'm still not there. So let's not worry about it. Paint to print two digit number, let's just put a zero. <laughs> it's a pain to print two digit numbers, damn. Even more lazy than soon, huh? <laughs> That's an interesting an interesting one. Okay. Anyways, the this boss was pretty hard before and it's obviously pretty hard now. So the general strategy is that if I'm able to if I'm able to take down the site, which is the first uh, the first phase, then I could worry about using tank. That didn't hit? But see, here's the thing. If I use a tank here... Yeah, that's what happens if I use the fucking tank there. It's so hard to run away. It's so hard. Because the dash is trash, okay? Inputting the dash is garbage. Although it the duration is a lot longer than I expected. I thought it was a lot shorter. And if you jump, wait, this is important. If you do So if you do that, you only get until that third pillar. If you do that, you can actually extend it. Not by much, but it's better than nothing. Right? And then you can keep going. I guess I could try doing that. What will be the number if I grab two or three dish? What? Speedrun strats? I know, right? Mm, 
I thought that was gonna be enough. It wasn't. Hmm, this is uh, still pretty hard though. This is still something that is definitely not easy. But if I use it here... Whatever. Oh, that's right, that asshole actually... Okay. Fuck. I'm gonna use another one, by the way, I don't give a shit. Fuck, bitch! See, are you proud of me, master? Guess what? I don't give a shit, bitch! Go back to your era. Okay. Damn, and this one is even more crazy. She can hear the, the blade voice. Alright, interesting. And now we're going against Zeppelin. I guess. No, the sight is not aimed, the sight is static. Uh, but it's pretty hard to, to dodge. Go back to SNES. I know, right? Oh, I, I didn't even remember... Oh no, I do remember it. This asshole had a stage. That's fine. And the easiest way was going up here. Yeah, I remember that. Although I don't remember how much easy it's gonna be when you can only use your sorry ass sword. Well, that one is definitely easier <laughs> with this character, that's for sure. There's something here? Oh, it, it, there is this. But this is literally impossible with this character, right? Like, you, you can destroy the blocks. Yeah. We're going like 10 years in the past, there was impossible oh, license and software. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I mean, other than games. <laughs> By Winrar. You know the thing about Winrar? I don't understand how people even use Winrar. Because, you know, obviously a lot of people are gonna mention yes, you, you could crack it to not have that annoying message. But why would you want to crack Winrar? Winrar is trash. Exactly, 7 zip is better. Just as Nitori says, why the fuck will you crack Winrar? when 7-zip is better in every way and it's free and it's open source. There is no way. All of you win rar plebs, you... Okay, probably you are just ignorant about it, so that obviously you don't know better, so for that I'm sorry, right? But you definitely should forget about win rar. Yeah, I know it existed before 7-zip. I know that. Actually, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> but even if that's the case, it exists now. And there are people that are still using WinRAR. That's the problem. It might not have been a problem when 7 Zip did not exist. But yes, I agree with that. Like, you don't have anything better to use. But like, 
right now, if you still use Winroar, it's because you just don't know any better. <laughs> like your shoes uh, illiterate about computer, which is not a bad thing, I mean, obviously people learn, right? It's not like people are born knowing, but yeah. If anyone that is watching this stream, if you're still using Winroar, please do yourself a favor and switch to 7-zip. It compresses better than the basic 7-zip preset. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't really give a shit about getting a really tight compression rate. A lot of people only give a shit about compressing and decompressing. Okay, so this boss fight is pretty hard, but I wonder how hard it's gonna be with this character. Because this character is obviously a short range character, and this fight has a lot of short range encounters. Winrar can open. Yeah, I think it can. Uh, it both can open the other ones, yes. <laughs> Damn, every time someone calls this character Count, I just read Otherworld. And it's pretty funny, because it fits pretty well. <laughs> That's what I expected, I know, right? Okay, so how hard is this fight gonna be, is the question. Well, at least I've been able to summon the second phase at my first attempt. But obviously, <laughs> that's the problem. Um, I think this should not be hard. Because if I use uh, if I use the energy tanks, this should be a piece of cake. Though there is a, a little problem here. Uh, this uh, stage, as far as I know, doesn't have energy tanks other than the one that can only be accessed by using bombs. And this girl doesn't have bombs, so. Unless there is an energy tank, fuck. Actually, now that I die like an asshole right there, might as well explore the lower side. Because maybe the lower side is gonna have an energy tank. And if it has an energy tank, then yes, this is gonna be completely free. But we will see. Yeah, the lower side, as far as I remember, is miles harder than the upper side. So that's the, the big problem that we face here. We will see. At least for what I remember, the lower side was harder. I don't know if my memory might be playing tricks on me again or not. Literally can't do anything there. Oh, I remember now. In this section, this is the real problem here. Although there is a positive. With this character, I can just jump on the walls. Well, that's not a positive. However, that was a Shevade and I fell for it. Nice! That's a Shevade, you're not supposed to jump here. Fucker? See, that's being an asshole. 
That's just impossible to to get away from. That's the biggest shebate that y you can do. <laughs> just bomb. You know, right? Just bomb. Lul. Okay. So basically, don't go in the upper one. Just stay here. Damn. That was a pretty good shot. Pretty good slash, should I say. Okay, I still see no uh no uh, what was that shit called? Oh this is where you come from. So there is no energy tank here. So I have to be extremely careful about how I use the energy tank. The only energy tank in the level is unaccessible. Okay. So yeah, we gotta be fully careful about our attempts here. I obviously I'm gonna have some attempts to to familiarize with the fight, because otherwise, yeah. Damn, I don't know if I even wanna see that emote. Although I think I already know which one it is by the name. It's Inferno? Yeah. That's a good way to put it, I guess. Know your place. You should know your place. This is not Castlevania, dumbass. I wonder if I should play smart or if I should go full stupid and, you know, not even try to dodge his attacks. Why was Muda that translated as pitiful? It literally means useless. I mean... But you can get hit by his fucking head while he's disappearing in the floor? Wow. Wow, alright. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I got hit by the forehead. You actually can use the dash successfully. You like you can just go through the level so fast that it's insane how fast you can just complete the level. This level in particular is already pretty short, so... So here we go. Um, I wonder, should I try to do the first section legitimately or should I just spam the slash until he dies?
I wonder. Um, because if I try to dodge this smartly, I think I'm gonna get hit anyways. No, I don't know. Let's see what you got. The good thing is that I can, you know, I can super dash to get out of, to get out of him or of his pressure at least. So I'm gonna just try. Wait, move along. Now, I'm gonna try using one of these and see how it goes. I tried to pause and I couldn't do it because I got killed before I could pause. But that's the strategy. I just need to use two energy tanks and not fuck up in the process, that is. Okay, so you can just go full... Like, like, you don't even need to think about this fight. You just hit him until he dies, pretty much. Like, the most brain-dead fight you can actually do. Okay. Please don't fuck it up. You can actually beat this legitimately too, if you feel like it. Gotcha! So yeah, I only needed one. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Whew. That was a lot easier than I expected it would be. Any last words? Fuck you! Damn. I'm, I'm pretty sad that he just dies without saying what the fuck it is what you doing you kill the cunt <laughs> uh. Quality entertainment. <laughs> Damn. So, oh shit, I actually reflected it. Damn. Holy shit, this girl is actually business. Interesting. Alright, so let's see. What can be a problem here, as I mentioned multiple times before, is the boss rush. I think everything else in this castle shouldn't be a problem. The spider shouldn't be a problem, the yellow devil I don't think is gonna be a problem either. No, I don't think anyone should be a problem more than the boss rush. Damn, I can't believe I actually got here. And I can't believe I actually died to that. Those are two things I can't believe. Good shit. Damn, everyone... Sharing fucked up emotes, huh? This truck is pure fire. Well, it, it kinda resembles how fire the Wily Stations themes are. Usually Wily Stations are so, so good. Well, I mean, any Mega Man theme is really, really good. Uh, 
yeah, wily stations are a specific kind of good, right? Oh, oh, I can't, okay. So let's see, should I go? I mean, the, the safe way is going, oh, never mind, it's the only way. Like, if you want to go to the left way, you have to do it immediately. Interesting, interesting, okay. Okay, that, that's not too hard to do. I also wonder if there is some way to use the energy tank without going to the boss menu. There probably is, but I didn't bother to check, mostly because, I mean, it's not like it makes that much of a difference. Well, it does, but it's not that big of a deal. Oh, this is gonna fucking suck. I have to do this legitimately. Actually, no, I don't even need to do it legitimately. This character also doesn't give a shit about most of the platforming. I forgot, I can just dash and wall jump if I want to. Okay. So, here's the thing. Um... This boss, the problem is that I can shoot her from afar, so I will need to be close to her, which will be a problem. It will be a problem. It, it, this is one of those bosses where I think it's gonna be hard. But not ridiculously hard, it's just hard. Also, the damage that the spider deals to me seems to be the same that that it dealt to the previous protagonist, so it doesn't seem that bad. Okay. <laughs> Come on, grab the fucking staircase. I almost got killed because I, I whiffed the, the hit. So, I should try... There we go, and I got the the damn tank too. I thought I needed to be really, really fast, but I don't need to be that fast. And you can just skip all of this. <laughs> Holy shit. How much hell that shit has. That's fine. Damn, and just like that, we're already back to the spider. Damn, this character. I had my doubts at the, at the beginning, but holy shit. Is this the last boss before the boss rush? It's not. Uh, it's uh, the f there, there is a still the yellow devil before the boss rush. The Yellow Devil might be hard, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna go with tanks to beat the Yellow Devil. So yeah, shouldn't be that bad. A 
at least I hope that's the case. Fuck these spiders. Oh, I can also dash to close the distance. And it works pretty well. As you can see, I was at the other side and I still was able to hit. So I'm about to die. That's obviously a problem. Yeah. I feel if I use one tank on this, maybe two, maybe I will need two. I don't know. Damn, Mega Lul. That, that one is pretty common lately. Mostly because Force and plays Shump King and everyone shocks about the bog monster, right? Ah, uh, what an asshole. How was I supposed to telegraph that? Damn, some of these bats are so fucking bad. The one with teeth. Yeah, I prefer the other one, honestly. Really? I can't read this shit, dude. Oh, and you shot at the same time it was going down. That's pretty cheap. What I think I'm gonna do, just like I did with Dracula or whatever his name was, Zeppelin, I think. What I'm gonna try doing is um, basically beat the first phase without tanks and if I get to the second phase I'm gonna use tanks. I think that's gonna be my strategy. Well if you can even call it a strategy. It's more like a cheese but that's fine. Oh, nice, actually hit. Ah, uh, what an asshole. I forgot he did that. <laughs> he should jump whenever he pleases. Okay. That's a lot less hell than any of the previous attempts. Holy shit. Okay. Bring it. Can someone actually predict where the spider is gonna fall? Like, can someone have a side that is good enough that it can actually follow that whole path and predict exactly where the spider is gonna fall? Because my brain can do it. Easy reading? Alright, okay. I guess you both have a better side than me. I still don't know how. It's really hard to know where it's gonna land. I mean, obviously there are some exceptions that are pretty easy, but it's RNG, right? Sometimes it gets pretty complex. For example, there is obviously easy, <laughs> but 
Do you have this, right? That one was hard to predict. I just got lucky. I should have used the tank, but I didn't expect to get hit by three attacks at the same time. Okay. Because, you know, in theory, it should be easy to read the direction, but I just can't do it. I just can't. Sadly. Gotcha. See, I thought right there she was gonna land at the middle. I, I can't read that. I, I just can't. It's just so hard to follow. I mean, it's mostly... Obviously, if the spider wasn't that big, maybe it wouldn't be that hard. At least I can get another energy tank. There is the. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. So, this should be easy. I mean, if I use one energy tank, this should be incredibly easy. It's just that I have to find the right attempt where I'm sure of myself that I can defeat him with only one tank. <laughs> wow, that one was pretty hard. Oh, I thought that one was going to the right. Good shit that I stopped in the middle of it. And it's starting to become fast now. With spiders. Okay, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal right now. It should be one more hit, right? Yep, gotcha. Alright, the spider is down. Good shit, so now... She, she thinks, thinks. The the other one left is the, the yellow devil. The yellow devil is obviously gonna be harder than the spider, but I still gonna... I'm still gonna believe on the energy tanks here to see what I can do. Oh, that's right. Oh, the gravity shift in this stage is gonna be interesting. Because with this character, if there is a wall, I can basically don't give a... Like, I I just can't ignore the, the gravity shift. I can jump on walls. 
So that might be more damaging than anything, especially in some cases where it might not be that easy. Really? You can't? Why you can't? Oh, because the slash is backwards? Huh. Interesting. At least this asphalt's dying one hit. Also, the energy tank is gonna be free. <laughs> like, literally, just do that. In fact, that extra life is gonna be free as well. Right? Wait, is it? Because if I do that jump, I'm gonna switch. Okay, maybe this one. Yeah, it's better to do it the, the old fashioned way. This is the. The champ with the spikes. Gotcha. Wasn't that hard. I'm receiving a lot of damage, so that's obviously bad. Bring it. I can kill you in one hit. There is that. Oh, but I can go there, but that's fine. Well, okay. Is it gonna be fine if I just do a dash jump? No, you can't do a dash jump there. If you do a dash, uh, dash jump, you're gonna go too fast, too too high. I knew that it was gonna be problematic to do it. So that might be the hard part. Huh? Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. God damn it. God damn it. Now, the good thing about the boss rush, no matter how hard I think it's gonna be, is that at least you have all the time in the world to practice specific bosses. Because, you know, just as how I found out about that strategy with the swim sweet boss, I can also find out a strategy about any other boss if I'm good enough to find that out, them out, that is. So how do you do this sham normally? Oh, I, I understand. Well, you're not supposed to do that, that will kill you normally, but this girl can jump in well so she doesn't give a shit. How many lives do I have? Oh, okay, I can, I can do a good attempt then. So the real question here is, how hard is this boss gonna be? Something is in there right behind you. Gonna memorize this shit again. And not only memorize, let's not forget that, I know it, it looks trivial, but that shot that the yellow devil does from his eye is really hard to dodge and at the same time damage him. And that shot will basically be completely inoffensive on the previous protagonist. With this protagonist, it's gonna be everything but inoffensive because she gets a lot of damage from that. So it's gonna be a problem. Uh, it's a problem that wasn't there on the previous uh, fight, like with the previous protagonist, I mean. Now, the, the real, real problem is that this is gonna take so long. And there is no way that you can make this fight shorter, as far as I know. Like, there is just no way. You, you are doomed to this long-ass fight that nobody wants to fight. At least, once you get hit, you can avoid everything else for free. 
That's the good part. This is gonna be a complete pain in the ass. And it's the reason why I wanted to use the Yellow Devil weakness so fast instead of actually waiting to learn the fight. Because the damage that you deal is too slow, like too, too shitty to do the fight in any reasonable time. So whatever, we will see what we can do. It's just gonna be a long fight. Like using um, using tanks at this point is definitely a no-brainer, but it's still gonna be a ridiculously long fight. Even with all the tanks in the world, it's gonna be really long. Really? Why was I... Oh, because of the fucking wall. <laughs> I can do that one. We are on the last checkpoint. So at least we can get to the last checkpoint really, really fast. The good thing is that when you are in this rage mode, you kill almost everything in in one hit. Well, almost everything. Obviously, that excludes bosses. Nice. I, I really wonder how you are supposed to do that part with the other protagonists or whatever. We are not the other protagonists, so we shouldn't care. Alright. So yeah, this is gonna be a pain in the ass, so bear with me, I know it's painful, but we need to do it. We also need to dodge that. Beer with me. <laughs> ah, sorry, I, I don't like beer, but you can do that with soon. Soon will be more than happy to do that. You... How do you miss that? Like, how do you actually miss that? Like, you gotta be fucking shitting me. There is, by the way, for those who don't know, a pretty funny achievement in this game that basically requires you to kill this boss without um, without receiving damage which is more than ridiculous right yeah no damage I know it feels like UFO it feels like I'm playing fucking UFO. Okay. 
damn it. But more than no damage, I'm more worried about this. Like, how do I dodge this pattern? Like, you barely have any place to dodge because the the other formation or of the yellow devil is already there. So, am I too stupid to comprehend or what? I might be, that's why I'm asking. Like, you can barely dodge that. Okay, I'm gonna use the tank here. Probably a bad idea, but if I don't use the tank now, every attempt is gonna look the same. So might as well look at how I can at least try to do it. So now it switches gravity, so I have to relearn this pattern, because why not? Oh, it switches back and forth? That's... That's pretty evil. Fuck. I should have done that faster. Like, once you get hit, you should go really fast to the other side. You shouldn't stay there just to receive free damage. No, I never drunk uh, alcohol or smoke or anything. That's indeed the case. Because I feel like uh, alcoholic beverage tastes like shit. But if tasting like shit wasn't enough, it's also bad for your organism. So, yeah, I don't really understand. But, you know, whatever. To each their own. And well, smoking is also the same, it's like... It already smells like shit, so it can only taste even worse. So yeah, that's the reason why. I'm gonna use it. Probably gonna regret using so many in such little time, but... I don't know what else to do otherwise. Gotcha. Okay, at least I got here. I'm gonna pop another one of these. Because it's too risky if I try to to do it with that amount of health. Damn, you're not gonna switch gravity now? Why not? Fuck. Okay, no risk. I know that this is unnecessary, but I don't want to risk. An unnecessary risk like that is just... Yes, I know I could have gotten it, but no risk. No risk allowed. Whew. Well, that fight took me three or four energy tanks. Holy shit. Alright. Have chocolate, comrade. <laughs> Hey Deus, how is it going? You came right in time to see me probably try the hardest thing that the game has to offer, which is the boss rush with a character like this. So yeah, this is gonna be a problem for sure, but we will see how much of a problem it's gonna be. Hopefully not that much of a problem. So let's see, most of these fights, or I will say half of these fights, 
I've been able to beat them because I use um, a tank, an energy tank. Now the problem here is that I cannot use the tank as I please, especially because the boss after the boss rush is even harder. So I will have to learn the characters individually. Quality people. Well, this character is an easy one. This is one of the only characters that it's so fucking easy to defeat that it's unbelievable. Are you? Literally just hit her over and over and she dies. But the problem is that the other characters are not that free. In fact, a lot of them are far from being free. What was this one? Like for example this one. This one right here is anything but free. So when she sends out the fairy, you cannot dodge it. Are you supposed to hit it? Let's see. You can dodge it. Hmm. Hit? Yes, you need to hit. Now the problem is that even knowing that, then there is this, she heals because she gives no fucks. So yeah, it's just hard. What did you do with your friends in high school? I tried to avoid them as much as possible because they did that, right? Like they got high every time they they try to act like run out runs up right and they all you know in the end a lot of them are just fuck ups right like they they completely ruin their lives and i'm glad i didn't fall for that because holy shit a lot of them even got in problem like got in trouble with the police over that so, I'm glad that I tried to get away from them as much as possible. Because otherwise, I mean, that, that kind of life is not for me. I know that it's, it is there for a lot of people, but it's not for me. And yeah, it's basically danger life. It's something that I'm definitely not interested in, right? My school friends are dead. Well, I don't know about my school uh, classmates because I don't give a shit about them. So I don't even keep in contact with them. I don't think any of them is dead unless, you know, they, they got into some pretty shitty problem. And, you know, they got the short end of the stick. More than that. Also, this fight is incredibly easy, but also incredibly annoying. Because you really gotta wait it out until you can actually hit. But it's not that bad. It could be worse. At least you can perfect this fight. Easily. With this character. It's just that you need to be precise. Well, not even that precise, right? Oh, <laughs> okay. Too many openings. There's nothing wrong with it in moderation. Yeah, but here's the thing. There is nothing wrong in moderation when you're an adult. When you're 14 years old, doing that is bad. It's bad because it fucks with your developing brain. That's the problem. If you're 25, 30, do whatever you want, right? Like, you're already an adult. But when you're a teenager, uh, you're just fucking up your brain uh, unnecessarily. 
by the way because you're gonna regret it at some point you're gonna regret doing that or maybe not maybe you you do that without regrets but i know that if i did it i will definitely regret it uh so yeah it's mostly that if you are not an adult that thing should not be anywhere anywhere near your organism Unless, again, you don't mind growing up with, you know, some issues, that's fine, I mean, you're all, uh, like, you are in control of your life, right, so you can do whatever the fuck you want. I personally do not want to get into that, so I never got into that. Damn, that fight is also pretty uh, easy. Well, I mean, again, anyone is free to do whatever they want with their life. I personally don't want none of that, so I should uh, distance myself from them. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did because I... They are not the kind of people that I will enjoy being with anyway, so, you know, whatever. But, again, it, it's all a matter of how you want to, to live it. If you're fine with that, it's fine. Oh, I could bash after the shunt. Now the problem with that is, if you are close enough, she will try to walk up to you. This is a hard fight, this is one of those hard fights. Okay. How do I do this fight without uh, energy tanks is my question. I mean, this fight, and there is also that. <laughs> so stay at this, yeah, around there. And then you do that. Mm, those are, I mean, those were already hard to dodge without like having the slide it's gonna be really hard dodging them while having the dash what well, other fights were there by the way i forgot about the others oh the squid girl well this shouldn't be a problem right right no this fight should be pretty easy in fact My issue is with the double ones. I don't remember the the spacing for for the doubles. Get on. But yeah, whatever. Basically, when it comes to that topic, I I should pretty much say, uh, you know, it, it is a pretty famous saying, but basically, live and let die. Like, do what you want to do and let others do what they want to do. Uh, it is what it is. There are different lifestyles. Th that's the case. So yeah, I prefer this lifestyle. Uh, and I don't know if I don't think I regret it, honestly. I mean... Like, for example... It's pretty hard to imagine myself any other way than what I am now. And I honestly... Don't feel like it would have been a good idea being any other way than who I am right now, right? So I think, at least for me, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with that. 
I don't know if it's gonna change at some point, but my point of basically not fucking up your, like, your, your brain when you're a teenager still stands. Like, don't do that. Because you're, you're probably gonna regret it. If you're an adult, do whatever, but if you're still, like, with a developing brain, just, I don't recommend it. The dash has to be really on point for this fight. Um, yeah. The real problem, obviously, is that when you're a, a teenager, you really don't have any any guide, like anything that can really tell you about how bad that's gonna be for you uh, in the future, right? That's the problem. Uh, uh, you know, whatever. I mean. It's one of those many things that you suck and you can't do anything about it. Okay. So for the hard fights we basically have Spiritia, the Ice Lady and and Dio. Right? That's it. I think those are the hard fights. So I guess we should practice. I wanna pluck this Flandre because even if Flandre is not what I would say hard, you need to be on point with your dash. Especially here. Okay, never mind. It's a piece of cake. You don't even need to be on point. That was pretty easy. Holy shit. Okay. So, that means that the ones that are gonna give me trouble are this one, this one, and this one. Those are the troublesome ones. I feel like I can do the Dio one, but for that one I definitely need uh, to master, well, quote unquote, master the dash. Right? But we will see what I can do here. I think staying in the middle and letting her jump is the best strategy. Or maybe, what if I do that? That could work, but I gotta be... Careful, I don't think it's gonna work on the second phase. So basically... Wow, my dash got through the portal. My dash was so fast that I ignored the portal that was right in front of me. <laughs> well... That's an interesting one. That hit me? Really? Gotcha. So when I'm down in health, I should go for a fight like this one. Now the problem with this one is that I think you can avoid getting hit by the first rain. Oh, never mind, you can. I also gotta preemptively dash them. I ended up having less health. God damn it. Uh, I can go for this one. Oh, 
It is definitely the fight that you can use to heal. Team, you definitely can use that fight to heal. Okay. Yeah. I'm basically trying to choose, like, take into account... Like, just make sure that the fights that I think they are free, they are actually free. And I think they are. Basically, there's only three fights that are gonna be troublesome, and that's until I find out how to beat them. Should I... Which one should I practice first? Should I practice Dio first? Maybe I should. Okay, full hell. Indeed. Huh, that didn't work. Okay, that might not have been the the best strategy. The problem is that if she stops time and you are against the wall, you're fucking dead. Hmm. Yeah, the contact damage is pretty big. That I need to 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 think of a strategy that will allow me to avoid hitting her. I mean, sometimes, if you're close enough, she just walks. Like, she doesn't give a shit. Damn, I, did I have so many lives? Maybe I did. So wait until the champ hit and then run. Jumping away from it is not an option. She actually says Tokyo Tomare, damn. And you thought this wasn't a Dio reference. Ah, literally Dio. I think there is a pretty nice strategy that I still need to see if it's the case where you can lure her to to come with you and you can jump behind her and she won't hit you but you have to do it in a pretty specific way like that but if you're too far away she doesn't give that much of a shit and I think that regardless of what you do, if you're on the second phase... Um, yeah. You're on the second phase. She always stops time, I think. Time stopping guy in Castlevania. Maybe it's also a Dio reference. I mean, in Japan, Dio is incredibly popular. So... It will make sense. That's the problem. That's the problem of that strategy. Um, damn it. I mean, the good thing here is that you can re like retry the fight a lot of times over and over. But the issue is that, you know...
I think it's a pretty shitty fight for a character like this. I still don't know how to dodge the knives. I, I think it is doing a dash, but maybe you have to initiate the dash before she shumps. Mm. What a piece of shit fight. But the other two seem to be worse. Yeah, you are supposed to do that. Maybe it was kinda obvious, but I never thought about it for some reason. So basically, initiate the dash before she, st she stops the time. I mean, when you think about it, it makes sense. That's... That's basically one of the only ways you can uh, defeat someone that is stopping time to know what she's gonna do. She always shot six time, then time stop. Yeah, I know. I know. I basically have to time the dash uh, in a in a way that I can choose dull shit when she's about to jump. So yeah, it's not hard, but I gotta practice it. Okay, okay. How many? I have eight. Eight uh, barrels. Okay, so let's see if I can actually defeat this fight. Why did I stop? Sometimes I don't know what's the what's the condition, but sometimes she shots on the middle. That's the problem. And I don't know when or why. And it's pretty hard to react at that speed. Here you really fucking miss that. Isn't that a charge one? <laughs> this is gonna be a problem. Eight barrel rolls. What the hell is up with people in this chat? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I also wonder. If it's just a natural attraction. Because, you know, I might be a weirdo, but some of you are just over the top. Some of you just go overboard. Doesn't work if you're too close. Yeah, maybe I'm just destined to have this kind of uh, chat. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I don't mind it. I'm not really paying attention, so I don't really care. I'm trying to pay attention to the game more than anything.
Damn, even preemptively dashing it didn't work. Damn, this fight is trash. It didn't work for some reason. Preemptively dashing there, I got hit nonetheless. Try not to pay attention to chat. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree with that motion. I do agree with that. That's fine. Um, so the thing here is... How the fuck do I defeat this boss? That's the question. I really don't understand when she goes for the for the middle shot. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, it seems random, but so many times the the middle shot doesn't come out. So I assume that I'm not gonna get shot. I don't really understand this fight. Not that well, at least. Far enough. I feel like I should cheese the first phase by going behind her and then on I don't know on the second phase pray to the heavens because <laughs> the first phase is easily cheesable but the second one I don't know how You can just do this. Well, not that. I fucked it up there. Yeah, I fucked it up. It, it's just so easy to fuck it up. Okay, it worked there. The Naga attack was designed with the slide in mind because of smaller hit, but I don't know if you have smaller. You should use a pack. I thought of that, but here's the thing. That's not... No, it, it's called an energy tank, but it's fine. It's the same shit. It, don't worry about that. Um, you say that I should use a tank, but here's the problem. The problem with that is this boss for example this boss is also another boss that normally would require a tank because it's not the kind of boss that it's easy well you can chase it like that right there sometimes you're not that lucky because she has other attacks like this one And sometimes, like, if I try to dodge that the legit way, it will be incredibly hard. So that's why I'm trying to go behind her. But it's hard. It definitely is hard. Although, at least I think the, the Ice Lady one should not be that bad. I think I can do the Ice Lady one. The problem is the other. The other one where you have to fight the previous protagonist, that fight seems to be unbelievably hard. Let me try the Ice Lady again and see how it goes. Let's see what you have. Basically, if you can do that, everything is gonna be immediately easier. I fucked that up there so bad. That's fine. Okay, the Ice Lady is doable. 
the ice lady is doable as you can see right there and in fact right now I'm gonna find uh, a fight to heal let's heal with the squid girl Yeah, this fight is, is incredibly easy. Um, so, we can say that the Ice Lady is not a problem here, but the real problem is this one. And pay attention, because this one is pretty hard to even comprehend what's going on. In fact, dodging those bullets that she shots, is it even... I mean, you need to jump, I assume. Here's the thing, you need to hit the fairy. So you're already using a hit there. But if that wasn't enough, you have to dodge all the other trash that she shots. So this is one of those. This is one of those that... I don't think being patient is enough on this one. I, I the, the other problem is that she also moves in a pretty unpredictable way. I also thought about climbing up the wall. I can do that. Okay, let's try that. What happens if I try to climb up the wall? I mean, I, I will have to hit the fairy, yes. But she won't be able to hit me. Yeah, but the fairy is already annoying enough. That's the problem. And she also doesn't have any hits done. So if I hit her, that's not gonna bring her back. Yeah, and not only... Yeah, that's the problem. Because she not only has that that first health bar. She has a second health bar. But let me see. Maybe I can try chasing the first phase by just trying to spam hits. Because that's what I pretty much did the first time. And it kind of worked. Although, yeah, I also use uh, energy tanks. That's true. But if I can defeat the first phase, maybe on the second phase she use, she doesn't use the fairy. But I think she still uses it, that's the problem. The good thing is that this stage gives away tanks for free. But I gotta remind you again, the boss rush is not the only thing that you need to worry about here. There is another boss after the boss rush that is incredibly hard. So that's where the tanks have to be reserved for. So let's see. I will try to rush as much as I can to damage her. The real fuck that part is how she can shoot from anywhere, but I can't. That's really fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. I went to the upper one, uh, whatever. Let's fuck this one up too. We're supposed to double dash or something right there. Why didn't I hit you there? What? Yes. 
So this, this is my question. If I just go here, is she gonna use Lee? She doesn't need to use Lily. Wow. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Yeah, it was pretty scummy. I really don't know how to beat that boss and the time stopping boss without using a tank. And to be honest, uh, Spiritia here, she. I don't know how to defeat her with one tank. Like, I'm pretty sure I will need to use two in order to defeat this asshole. The worst part is that the fairy can hit you even when she doesn't call it. If anyone has any idea, they are pretty much welcome here, because I don't. I think the general idea of the first phase is that you gotta be right next to her the most amount of time you can, but even then... That fairy is a piece of shit. That fairy right there, like, that's the, the biggest problem of the first phase. And the second phase is that she just doesn't stop shooting. Like, she doesn't give a shit, she just keeps going. I feel like I will have an easier time trying to defeat the, the fucking time-stopping asshole than this one. I don't really think can think of any strategy for this one. Because I don't think you can sh dash from here, like... Doesn't seem like you can. What pisses me off the most is that she doesn't even try to run away. So I got that. Damn, she also uses that one. No, dude, this one is... I think it's... It's way past what I can do, I think. I will definitely need to use an energy tank, but even taking that into account, I don't think it's gonna help me that much. Whoever thought that that boss was a good idea, they weren't thinking uh, straight, I feel. I mean, if you wanted to make a rendition of the main character, why the fuck did you put the fairy? She never helps. Why would you put it here? Why would you even put that character here? God damn it. Hmm, trying to think. But if that fairy is there, any strategy that I might have is gonna get fucked up. See, she doesn't stop, like, even if you hit her, she doesn't go back, so hitting her is only useful for damage. So it's like, every strategy that you could have that will work, it just doesn't work.
Those are really the only two bosses that I need to figure out. Well, and obviously, the other one will be the... The, you know... The boss after this. I saw that coming. Maybe I can do that. Can I bait that? Can I bait that consistently? Because if I can bait that uh, huge uh, water pillar, she's done. She's done for. Let's see. Let's see if I can bait it. Yeah, I think I can. The only problem is that I have to deal with... With the other one. With the... Um, the one where she shots uh, diagonally. Spiritia, no hit run. Yeah, nice one. Okay. So the second phase is cheesable. So the hard one is the first one. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, fucking fairy, I can fucking believe it. That fairy deserves to die a horrible death. That's what it deserves. Okay, bring it. So basically, yeah, but you gotta really preemptively do it. Uh, like you have to, guess you can be that fast to get out of that if you just do it when she's about to to charge it. You gotta jump before she charges it. But that's okay. That's actually chisable, so I'm gonna obviously use that. So now the only one that I have to figure out is the time stopping bitch. Alright. Let's see. Just gonna do it right now. Oh, I did the champ, you bitch. I didn't choose fall. I did the champ. I know I did the champ. The problem is dodging this, the diagonal ones. Diagonal ones are gonna be a pain in the ass. I guess the best way is to li lay down. To lay down on the wall and then uh, dodge it. The problem is that you can get hit by the ice there. That's gonna be the problem. At least I got that. The problem is that when she combines it with the with the sham, she can she can get me.
mean, if she does the charge shot, the damage is so big. If I go really high, I don't think she can reach me, even with that shot. Right? Alright, I got it. So that's the strategy. The real problem is doing the first one. Doing the first one is a pain in the ass. But the second one, you can do it without that much trouble. Which is great, if you ask me. Alright. So now I should recover health first. Uh, I don't know if this is the best character to recover health. Now that I think about it. At least this is... It is like a reading game. The only problem is the first uh, hit, the rest is just telegraph. So with this health, I should probably practice this one. Should I practice this one? I guess I should practice this one too, because even if I'm a little bit more confident now against this one, I don't know how conf confident I am. Especially when she does this one. Gotcha. Well, it's definitely one of those that you gotta defeat when you're full health. Uh, okay. And when I need to heal, this fight is one of the most appropriate for that. But I still need to practice again the time-stopping bitch. I won't definitely one day see. I still think this one is pretty funny. Or how stupid it is. I mean, for how stupid it looks. Also, this is pretty much moan <laughs> for those that generate that likes the moans. It's a pretty good fight. Gotcha. All right. Uh, so now that we are full health, I should practice the time stopping. Or how many lives do I have? Oh, a beautiful amount of zero. Nice. I like when I have zero. Good, all right, have a good one. Um, so let's see how I can deal with this one. Maybe, I still think this might be the, the best idea. I should have gone the opposite side there. So, this is looking a lot more uh, possible now that I practiced the bosses that were being a pain in the ass. I mean, Spiritia is still a pain in the ass, but at the very least, I can cheese the second phase, so there is that. 
Now the problem here is the time stopping one. Who the hell do I fight against that one? And a better question is, should I actually use a tank? Like, is that really what I should do? I feel like using a tank here is gonna be a bad idea, but I can try. I can try using a tank. Let's see how it goes. Um, time stop is here. Fuck. No, I definitely will need to practice against this one. Maybe I should let myself get trapped into the time stop instead of trying to be so aggressive in this fight. Let's see. Getting away from her sometimes is even harder than doing anything else. No, I feel like that that last one, that last one where she summons the knives is incredibly hard. It's just incredibly hard to, to dodge with this character. Maybe I should just not give a shit about this one and just use a tank. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be the most healthy choice. Um, because here's the thing, every time you start this stage, you'll probably already notice when you get a free tank at, at the first fall that you do. So maybe what I should do here is do that. Just use a tank for this one, but only after I know that Spiritia is dead. If Spiritia is not dead, then it's useless. Because Spiritia using no like using no energy tank to defeat her is way harder than this one. I don't get it. I don't get what I'm supposed to do there. I think I did it the intended way, and it still didn't work. Man, this fight f fucking sucks. Uh, maybe I should stay in the middle, but... I don't know. Okay, let's do my strategy. My strategy is defeating Spiritia first, then recovering some health when s with some weak-ass boss, and then trying the time stopping girl using an energy tank. Super Smash Bros sounds pretty gay. What? I mean, if you twist the words, then yeah, I guess it can sound gay. But <laughs> uh, what kind of question is that? <laughs> I think this is what happens when you let Riman and the other stoner talk too much in chat. Wanna smash? No, I definitely do not. Though I appreciate the offer. This fight is trash. 
Both this fight and the time stopping shit had they are both trash. That's fine. Obviously, this fight will probably not even be that bad if I could use my range. Like, if, if I had a weapon that would actually have a decent range, this wouldn't be that bad. But it is pretty bad as it is right now. Ah, oh, that really hits you, huh? Hmm. Yeah, sure, that's what they all say. Anyways, um... If I wanna heal, I should go for the squid. But now that I lost two lives, is it really worth it to use a tank? Actually, it is. Because what's the problem, right? I mean, I'm gonna get another one when I die, so it's not like I'm really wasting resources. Still not full health. Uh, the... Okay, so maybe I should go for this one. So this one, I really gotta be careful with the first shot, at least. I should just take the shot, because if I risk it too much, she might be able to hit me. Oh, that attack is called Prominence? Alright. No, that, that... That's not gonna happen. Uh, okay. So here's the thing, I'm gonna use a tank. But I gotta be especially careful about it. I missed that. <laughs> this is when the fight goes to shit. Okay, let's use it. The worst part is the amount of damage. If the damage wasn't so big, this will definitely be way more doable. But the damage is just out of control. It's just out there. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. But yeah, you you need to use a tank, but we will see. Because what I'm really curious about is how hard the Wily Machine boss is gonna be. That's the one that really scares me. Really? <laughs> The problem with this fight is that the safe way of doing it takes so fucking long. At least you are guaranteed that if you don't royally fuck up, you get this fight without damage. It takes so fucking long. I mean, well, it relatively takes long, it's not like it's really, really long or anything like that, it's just annoying. Annoying is a better word to use. Gotcha. I should go for this one, this one is also another one that is not free. I mean, it is easy, but you get a lot of damage from the bombs at the end on this fight. The 
This is when it starts getting troublesome. Damn, especially because... I didn't remember those bombs dealing that much damage. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, maybe I could leave the Ice Lady for last. Nah, let's do it now. Okay, Ice lands my nuts. Oh, you're pretty far, damn it. Okay, you're dead. Yep, this is it. Indeed, it is. I slay shoes spring for good RNG, I know, right? It's pretty much like that. If you get that ice lance or whatever it was called, that's the one you want to get. And for this one, like you just need to hit, dash back, and that's it. There, it's done. Uh, so here we have the Wily Machine boss. Now here's the thing before we enter into this. The, this boss that is about to come here was extremely hard in the original fight with the normal character. And in fact, if it wasn't for the bomb weakness that she has, this would have been impossible to deal with. Now, here I cannot use weaknesses, because this character only knows how to do this and this. That's it. No other attack. So I have no advantage when it comes to damage. So this is pretty much praying for the best outcome here. I, I don't even know how hard this is gonna be. Hey, welcome back, uh, Rimen. Braggart? Is that an insult? Okay, here it comes, Wily Machine. Fuck that part is that this isn't even the hard part. I'm already getting old. So here's the real problem of this fight. Okay, so I get it. What you're supposed to do there is use your dash jump to hit her. Obviously that doesn't mean that it's gonna be easy. That it, Quite the contrary, that means that it's even harder because you gotta control how funky your character moves. Just use all of your tank. Yes, that's exactly what my idea was. But it's still pretty dangerous to do that. Although I have eight tanks. So yeah, I could just smoke them and probably do it well. Hey clone cat, how is it going? Yeah, you came just in time to see this. Yeah, I guess blowing all my tanks is a, it's a good idea. It is a good idea. And this choreography on the first phase is not bad if you don't fuck it up. Well, obviously, if you don't fuck it up, a lot of things are easy, but... Okay, so you say that I should smoke... ...all of my tanks. I do agree. I think that's the best idea that I can execute right now. So now, use tank. Oh, fuck. 
Use another one. Yeah, I, I, I only needed to use two, actually. Wow. All right. I'm convinced. Hokul, Amir, Pisan. Oh, don't worry. You just need to press enter, go to the tank, and press seed. That's how you use a tank, it is. Hopefully, you never learn that, because that will be problematic, to say the least. An intermission? Damn, she just fucks off. All right. So yeah, also by the way, we have no lives at all. <laughs> the secret technique, I know, right? Secret technique that never, never fails. So this is actually incredibly doable. This, in fact, is the... It's just the easiest... Uh, I mean, it's a hard fight, yes, but it's... Like, with this character, it's more than doable. It's... In fact, one of the fights that I imagine it being the easiest of the bunch. And in fact, I don't expect the dragon to be here. I expect you needing to climb. Or maybe not. Maybe you do have the dragon. Alright, let's mount the dragon. <laughs> and she says I will kill you. Oh, no dialogue? Alright. Well, thanks. I guess the, da the the dragon is just gonna give you a free ride. I'm fine with that. I wonder if you can climb while you're sh uh, flying with the dragon. If you can climb up there or some shit. Because this character can climb. But... Yeah. Alright. So, let's see. How this boss fight is gonna be. Damn, I'm actually gonna beat this. I never thought after seeing how difficult to use this character was, I never thought I will I will actually do this. Damn, that, that's pretty pretty cool that I'm actually able I mean yes, energy tanks are incredibly cheap, I understand, but still I mean the the Bible fight was still the most fucked up one for sure. <laughs> you commoner trash, wow. Iris is cute. Iris is a fucking piece of shit. That's what Iris is. <laughs> now, the good thing about this fight is that with a character like this, I will actually be able to hit her when she's up there. Which is something that I couldn't do with Spiritia. And let's not forget that I, if I want it, I can also use tanks here. That will be overkill. If I use tanks here, I will fuck her up really, really easily. The only problem is that I should not be so close to her when, like, before she attacks. Because that's gonna get me killed more than once. Yeah, that's the problem. That's fine, don't worry about it. Also, I noticed that maybe this password is actually legit. Maybe. 
this is a, a, an actual checkpoint on this fight because as we saw before tanks don't get counted for the password so this is probably a password that allows you to keep playing from here which if that's the case that would be great but I still think I can defeat her today right now That's fine, you can just claim the emote again. I mean, at this point you probably have enough points to not only claim the emote, but also claim every single combination. So I can actually shun. Hmm, but you... Maybe you need to... to be a little bit faster, but I'm pretty sure I can climb those things if I really try. Alright, bring it on. Damn, I can hit you twice. That's pretty good. That circle is so confusing to dodge. <laughs> Wait, did that hit me? Interesting. Should I use a tank? I'm pretty tempted to use the tank, honestly. I mean, I have fucking nine tanks. So it's not like I'm short of tanks or anything, right? Wanted to see the end, but I guess I'm gonna watch the VOD. You haven't hit Sam in five hours and you're still not sleep? Damn. Holy shit. Well, although I feel honored that you prefer to choose my stream instead of your grades but it's still bad for you don't do that oh, I should have still jumped to the left it's just JavaScript yeah you don't need sleep exactly <laughs> I mean JavaScript is like Street Fighter 5. You don't need to be a Street Fighter player from the 90s to be able to be good at Street Fighter 5. That's the same with JavaScript. You don't need to be a software engineer to, to write shit in JavaScript. Have slide under that. It's like sleep fighter. It is. It is, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. JavaScript might be easy, but at least it's a good language to actually do something, right? Like if you wanna make a program easily, JavaScript is perfect for that. Street Fighter, it's easy. But you don't feel rewarded by playing it because the game is fucking trash. So that's the difference. Uh, like it's easy to play, but you you're like, damn, what, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I know it's easy to play, but what is my reward? I don't feel good winning at it because the game is fucking trash. I 
actually got you to this one. I wonder how well I can... Oh, she still has that attack. So, okay. I feel like I will need to use a tank here. Because if I don't use a tank... Um, you know, in a lot of these attacks, I need to be next to her. So, yeah. My favorite is reading JavaScript created by people who can't code. I don't think I ever did that. That would be pretty bizarre. In wake crap like Pascal was ever to read an encrypting program. <laughs> Damn. Made an entire game using JavaScript. Because that's the good thing about JavaScript. You don't need to be good at it and you can do stuff that is useful. Right? That's the good thing. A lot of the elitists, programming elitists, are gonna tell you JavaScript is trash. But the reality is that they are trash. They are trash because they don't see... Wait, I actually been able to get up here. And I think I don't get any reward for that. Nice. Wait, and what happens if I go to, to the other side. Is this also gonna be a Shebate? Anyways, I was saying that elitists are gonna tell you that JavaScript is trash, but the reality is that, you know, they are probably more trash. Oh, I, I don't think I was supposed to do that, I think. The next person in your show has to read the shit you wrote and modify it. I mean, usually I try to write my code in a in a way that you can always understand it, at least if you're not a complete novice. I really wonder if I'm missing something up there by not going there. I don't think I am, but whatever. It's not like I'm really aiming to get all the achievements or anything like that. It's slow? I don't know, I didn't have any problems with speed. Then again, I didn't... I never done a really complex program with JavaScript or anything of the sort. I don't think it's that bad. Hit her there. Not even there. Okay, I still have a tag there. That was cheap. <laughs> Python? I don't know. I haven't seen anything that Python does that JavaScript doesn't, but I don't know. Actually, wait, Python... Yeah, Python is the one that Google likes to use, right? Is it that one? Yeah, I think it is that one. Yeah, I, I've never really seen any reason to use Python instead of JavaScript, but you're telling me that it's faster. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know about that. That transcends my knowledge. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. 
Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to say, good luck on the Edsam AC Borsche. I'm pretty sure you're not here anymore, but thanks uh, <laughs> for watching and good luck. I forgot. Neural net stuff. Yeah, you know, everyone leaking C++ balls. Like, good luck trying to write anything at C++. Anything, you know, substantial there, without being an actual knowledgeable programmer. Like, if you're a really good programmer, yeah, obviously, C++ can be really useful. If you're not, C++ is just a waste of time. Um, obviously, the reward of learning something like C++ is really big. But yeah, you can just do something quick right there. Just like that. No, uh, what you're saying is pretty different. C Sharp is pretty close to Shaba, a high level language. C++ is a medium low level language. It has nothing to do with C Sharp. The only thing that they are similar in are the names. C Sharp is way different than C++. And their usage is obviously just as different. Yeah, but here's the thing, having a bit of C++ knowledge is not enough. Because there is also the fact about why will you use it instead of other languages. Like, sure, if you're trying to write a driver, you probably want to use C++. Now, why will you actually want to write a driver? Right? That's the question. Like, why will you need to? And then, if you bring the video game argument, right? Like, you want, yeah, like, for example, what Riemann did right there, like, bringing the video game argument. You don't need to know C++, because everything rotten in C++ is already rotten, right? It's already written, sorry. Um, so you don't have to do anything. It, it's all there. You only have to worry about high-level stuff. Yeah, you know... No offense, but for what you're saying, Nitori, you really don't have much idea how programming works. Uh, C++ being fast makes sense because nobody in their right mind will code a full program in C++. I mean, that's the thing, yeah, it's faster, but good luck trying to do a full-fledged program only in C++ in any reasonable time frame. It's just not gonna happen. That's the reason why you have high-level languages. Now, you just don't seem to know what you're talking about. You just seem like you heard a little bit about programming and you're trying to, you know, say that you actually know, but you don't. And that's fine. It's fine that you don't know, but... Like, everyone learns, I also learn, right? Everyone eventually knows, but no. Nobody goes in C++ a full program, a full program that is supposed to, you know, something with a graphic interface, something that is supposed to be used by normal people. Nobody will even dare to use C++ for that, because there's no reason for it. The only reason that you would like to do that is if you want to challenge yourself and you want to write a really, a normally pretty easy program in like one year, right? Like, if you want to do that, go away. And also, before you mention it, a lot of times you will basically be just copy-pasting code. So, yes, you're technically writing in C++, but you're probably gonna use frameworks that someone else wrote. And in, at the end of the day, you're not really coding yourself that much, right? Like, you're basically just trying to emulate what a high-level language does, but you're just putting more obstacles for yourself. That's what writing in C++ is. At least, again, as I say, a normal program. If you want to write a driver and something that you can't do with a high-level program, like, you, you need to go lower, you need to speak to the hardware, then yes, 
you will need something like C++. But you don't use it for a normal program. It's just a waste of time. And as I always say, the most valuable resource that you can always have is time. So, if you enjoy wasting your time writing a really simple program in C++ just because you want to challenge yourself, go ahead. I mean, be my guest, right? But, yeah, there is no practical reason to do it. There, there is just not. The last one is the one up there. Damn, hitting her is gonna be a fucking nightmare. Of course you do the rotating one when you're one fucking hit away, fucking bitch. Damn it. Uh, yeah, for a game, again, you probably are gonna use something like Unreal Engine. Yes, Unreal Engine is writing in C++, but you're probably not gonna code anything in C++ other than pretty small modules that you know that by the way for most of the of the programs that allow you to make video games the code pretty much writes itself you just choose where you want to put your enemy where you want to put your bottomless pit and then the program writes that in C++ most of the time unless it's something really specific you're not even gonna see C++. So, that's the thing. Yes, yeah, C++ is an amazing language, but you're actually not gonna write code in C++ yourself. And if you write code, it's only gonna be a pretty small portion of the development process. Most of the time you're just gonna watch a program that has a pretty friendly user interface that allows you to place objects wherever the fuck you want, right? That's what you're most likely gonna do. Will I use a tank here? I'm really debating whether I should use a tank or not. Because I feel like this fight is incredibly doable without a tank, but at the same time, I will need to end the stream soon, so maybe I should use a tank. I mean... We use a tank throughout the whole game, right? We use tanks even in fights that were heavily unnecessary to use a tank. So I don't think restraining myself on the last fight is gonna be smart. I mean... Mostly, especially because this fight is so heavily reliant on RNG, right? I mean, might as well just use the fucking tanks, right? I mean, it's not like you can save them for the Rosen Rosenkrustilet 2. That I actually am seeing the name right now. It's called Rosen Rosenkrustilet Freudenstachel. What a name. I'm pretty sure I actually dashed there. <laughs> nice. And 
bit. See, this is pretty, pretty bad. Aaron. She like, look at that. She's just spawning in every place that I can do anything about. I feel like if I use a tank, I'm gonna use it only when I can beat the first phase without uh, without dying, right? So what the movement has evolved over the past 20 years to where early delivery its ability and product solutions is going to weigh the benefit you will get. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And you probably hate Shava because you like uh, hearing what other people say instead of thinking for yourself. Shava is an amazing language. It's just that obviously it's a slow language because it's a high level one. But the idea of Shava is that you use it for backend applications. You use it for, you know, servers, right? And when it comes to backend languages, it's one of the best, if not the best, to use. It's one of the most comprehensive ones too, like, you can basically be a complete novice at programming and read a Shava program just fine. So yeah. Shaba is a good language. I mean, you can you can dislike it. I'm not saying that you are not allowed to dislike it, but saying that Shaba is bad is ignorant to say the least. Okay, so I should use the tank right now. Wait, what was the last one? The third one, right? The, no. Okay, whatever. I did it. And this song is really, really good. And that damage was also really good. Okay. Here comes another one. Pop it off. Really? Really? <laughs> okay. And to top it off, I also fucked it up. Get fucked. There we go. And I unlocked the achievement, the Sword Woman of Spite. Well, there we go. <laughs> Die, alright. <laughs> Oh, it's the same shit that happened. We go to straight to the sun for some reason. Alright. Oh, and we watch it crumble? Alright, I like that. Then we have the Spanish guitar. Interesting. Damn, that's a pretty badass ending. That's pretty much like the OC Castlevania endings. The castle crumbles and Simon or Trevor is watching from a distance. Damn. Alright. I definitely gotta say, yeah, or Alucard as well. I gotta say that I did not expect to beat this mode at all. And look at this. In fact, if I beat this mode, I did not expect to beat it today, I expected it to beat it tomorrow. Here we are. So good shit, I actually been able to do this. And it was pretty fun, it was also incredibly frustrating in some parts, like not having any range and having low health fucking sucks. But yeah, some parts were pretty exciting and controlling the character is fun. And again, also frustrating, right? Yeah, that's the name of the mode, Rosencrustile Gross Grolchurt. Whatever Grolchurt means. Oh, and we got a cast? 
Oh, is this a second second credits? All right, sure. Shoutouts to all those people. I think those are the voice actors. Well, I mean, voice actresses and one voice actor that was the guy that uh, voiced the vampire. Um, yeah, good shit. Yeah, honestly, this game has been amazing. Has been completely amazing. I obviously l completely loved it as well, and I'm really looking forward to the sequel. The sequel of this game that I'm gonna be playing, by the way, on the next stream. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Apparently, on that sequel, you play as the Ice Lady, that I also forgot her name. But you play as her, and it's gonna be pretty interesting. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see what uh, awaits us. As I also mentioned before, uh, a lot of people say that the second game is better than this one. And if I already love this one, I really have high expectations for the second one. Damn, and a very special thanks to me, and obviously for anyone watching as well. Wait, a tomb? What's that tomb? Is that her grandfather? I, I can't read what it says, but I'm gonna assume that it's her grandfather. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna assume that. Presented by Cave? <laughs> Damn. Cave is everywhere, huh? But yeah. Good shit. So I got it in three hours. Up, down, attack, jump. Is there fucking more? Up, down, attack, jump. Up, down, attack, jump. For a special surprise. Alright, you got my attention. Up, down, attack, sham. So that's gonna be WS5 sits. I wanna see what that special surprise is. I definitely do. So, let's first save the replay. Alright, and now that we got that. Oh, but this is return to title. So that means that we need to uh, exit the game and start again. Yeah. Up, down, attack, jump. Let's see. So we gotta quit and then we gotta go again. And on the screen it's... What does this button do? Yeah, that, that's what I wanna know. Okay, let me put the, this here. Okay, so what does did, what did that do? Did that do something? Not on options. What's my... Where is my surprise? Maybe it's on arcade mode? I don't think password has anything. Huh. The fuck does that button do? I didn't mean to put prologue now that I think about it. Wait. Does this change something? God mode? Damn! God mode! Wow! Well now, that's a pretty interesting cheat. So you unlock fucking god mode. Can you die from gravity? Well, you can die from spikes, so that's a pretty good question. Pretty smart question, in fact. Let's see, but I don't think there is any gravity trap here, is there? Let's see. Oh, there is, so... <laughs> You can't even die from gravity. You're completely immortal. You're a monster. I wonder, can you unlock achievements during this mode? 
because if you can unlock achievements during this mode, this is completely broken. You can do the speedrun achievement, you can do killing the yellow devil without getting hit achievement. You can do... I don't think there are many others, because others require you to get hit. You can also do the one of having 9 lives on stock. And this is incredibly cheap. It's god mode, literally god mode. Wow, that's... I guess instead of god mode, this is kind of like debug mode. This is probably what the developers used to test the game. I wonder how much damage you deal to, to the boss. Are you gonna completely obliterate her or what? I wonder. Let's see. Open your eyes, yeah, open your eyes, you're, you're a little bit overpowered, no, the damage is the same. Though it obviously doesn't matter that the damage is the same, because you can shoot to this. Pretty cheap, pretty cheap but it makes sense, it, it, it makes sense. I guess the developers really thought that you deserve a really good surprise. When you beat the game as the sword girl, Grohl I think was her name. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So you are basically god mode, that, that's it. Well, does something change in the stage select? No, you can't access this either. Well that's pretty, pretty interesting for sure, let's go back. Oh, I didn't know, you didn't even need to to exit the game you could just press escape you can press escape to get back to the to this and basically here you press the combination see it says debug mode disable oh you enable and disable it that's how it works interesting all right so pretty much here debug mode is not supposed to be activated okay all right good shit so <laughs> Th that's definitely a pretty neat surprise, th that's for sure. But in any case, I'm obviously not gonna beat the game in god mode and debug mode. Why the fuck would I even do that? But well, Unless I want the achievement, but I'm not worried about the achievements yet. So yeah, thanks everyone a lot for watching uh, this playthrough of Rosenkrustilet. I really appreciate all of you being here and uh, look forward to the next playthrough which is gonna be Rosenkrustilet Freudenstachel which is the sequel for this basically Rosenkrustilet 2 if you want to call it that way but yeah uh, oh and might as well before I, I go before I go might as well raid someone let's see who can we raid someone playing some Toho? Someone playing some Toho now. Huh, there is. There are a couple. Um, wait, there is also someone playing Hisoten Soku. If Kael is here, oh, but it's a Portuguese. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna raid the same guy that I raid the other time. It's basically scoring in Imperishable Night on Lunatic. So it's basically the top of the top. Like an actual top player. So yeah. Again, thanks a lot for watching. And see you next time. Take care, everyone. And let's go with the raid.